Hello. Yeah. Hi, Evan. This is Teacher Anna from Listen and Speak. Welcome to our class tonight. How are you? I'm okay. You're okay. Are you done eating your dinner? Yeah. That's good. What you what did you eat? Can you share it? Um, Can you describe it in an English sentence? How does it taste? How does it look? Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, you can tell me. Does it have vegetables? Is it a soup? Is it made of corn meat? Meat of a cow or pig? What? And it is like it has a meat. Mm -hmm. It has vegetable and 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 one of it is soup. Oh wow, that's nice. I think that's a very yummy or tasty dinner. I want to try that. What's the name of the food again? Maybe I can go drop by in a Korean restaurant here and look for it. Can you type it? Can can you can you send a message? Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to see if uh, we have that here. Well, I'm sharing your book. Uh, wait for your chat. There you go. Okay, okay. So I'll take note of that. Thanks, Evan. Now, let's look at your book. Last time, we already started with this one, The Lost City of Atlantis. So what, uh, what do you remember about our last class? Can you share it to me? In Atlantis, some uh, <clears throat> people live there. Yes, very good. Actually, I, in Ireland, people was very rich. Uh, yes. were very rich. Okay, but they wanted more, right? But they, they become, became greedy. Yes, they be, became so really greedy. Became angry, so they made earthquakes. The large waves mm -hmm. make make war, large waves to. Mm -hmm. And made Google the island and... think. Yeah. Under the water. Oh, you're, you're good. You remember a lot. I'm very happy. I can hear this from you. So, actually, we're done with this story and uh, we will do this questions. So, I'll give you an option. Do you want to read the story again? Or you want to go on and answer the questions already? I think I can answer it are you sure okay. yeah so uh we're done with what? number one last time okay so your answer here yeah. is uh, is atlantis real so let's have number two now what happened after robot oh we oh we thought we did this one too right oh yeah mm -hmm, yeah okay the answer here yeah. is um, he found out the structures were not man-made. It's all natural. Now, let's go to number three. What is the main idea? Can you read this, Evan, please? What is the main idea of paragraph C? What is the main idea of paragraph C? So, I think we need to read paragraph C to understand. Yeah, okay. Oh, you need to read it properly. I want to hear you read. You know, I want to hear you. Many explorers have looked up Atlantis Four. in Four. Atlantis in 2004. Explorer Robert Sarman reported findings of remains of a stay 
under the sea near Cyprus. Cyprus. Cyprus, very good. However, however, Cyrus and other scientists <clears throat> later realities realize the realize the structures he found under the sea were natural, not man-made. Mark Adams, author of the 2016 book Meet Me in Atlantis, believes the city was in Morocco. Plato wrote, Plato wrote about red and black stone circles around the city. Adams found similar red and black stones in the desert. They are very near the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so uh, we are done reading it. Now let's go back to the question. What is the main idea of paragraph C? Mm. What do you think? The explorers found a city under the sea near Morocco. Okay, that's a nice answer. Uh huh. So here we uh saw that part. Mm -hmm. So believe the city was in Morocco. Okay, so because uh, they see stones in the desert, they thought that's the lost city. Okay, but I think the best answer here is not the letter B. I think it's letter C. People have looked for Atlantis, but no one has found it. They have very little proof and information about this lost city, but no one can prove that it's really there. Okay, so let's have number four. Why does Mark Adams believe Atlantis could be in Morocco? Why do you think so? Why? Uh, because? Uh, because he discovered the remains of Houses in the ocean there. Are you sure? Let's go back to the story. No. So, uh, he believes that the city was in Morocco because in the story, Plato wrote about red and black stones. That's mm. why he thought that's, uh, that's the spot where Atlantis uh, were standing. Okay. So what's the answer here? He found He found color stones similar to ones described by Plato. Yes. Do you know who is Plato? Plato. Yeah. What was Plato? Oh Plato is someone. It's a person. Uh, oh, like it's a philosopher. Oh, let me show it to you. Okay, so uh, this is the images that they show when we talk about Plato, okay? Because it happened very, very long time ago. He doesn't have um, a physical picture, but he has a lot of sculptures. And people think he looks like this. Okay? He's a mm -hmm. Greek philosopher and he wrote a lot of books. Okay? About things. And about mysteries like this one. Atlantis. Now, let's go back to your book. Let's go and answer number five. Can you read number five? Um, paragraph D. Which sentence is... Closest and meaning to there is not a piece of solid evidence 
for a real Atlantis. Okay, so we need to focus on this part. There is no or there is not a piece of solid evidence. So what do you think is that about? Mm -hmm. okay. Tell me if you need help, okay? Wait. What do you think for that third Ew. or etc? C very good. It's letter C. Can you read letter C please? <laughs> You're making a funny face. <laughs> That's so silly, I can see it. <laughs> okay. To make us believe the Atlantis story is true yes uh not there's nothing yet but uh we can say that it's uh we can't say that it's true because there's not a piece of evidence to prove the existence of this lost city but we don't know maybe someday some scientists or some uh, explorers uh will find out a very um nice piece of evidence and they can prove that it's real but for now it's not yet confirmed there's no proof okay let's have this one let's write short answers about these questions okay yeah so let's use the uh, pass the answers from the oh uh, let's find out find the answers from the passage so let's have number one when did when did Plato write about Atlantis? Okay, when? So we're looking for the time. When did okay. Plato? Do you know when? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. When? He wrote it in 1999. It's here. It's here. Um, it's, 360. yeah, 360 BC. Okay, that's a very, very, very long time ago. So how will you say that in a sentence? Plato wrote the story. A question. Sorry? I have a question. Okay, okay. what's your question? Mm-hmm. This the uh, three hundred sixty BC. It is now. It is two thousand twenty four. It is not just three hundred sixty. It is zero minus three hundred sixty. Oh, because it's before Christ. Before we have our calendar, so our calendar nowadays follows. 12 months yeah. and a year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Back then, they have different calendar. They have different uh, ways of telling what year is it, what time is it. So, we call, they call this era or this uh, time BC, before Christ. BC means before Christ. So, this is very different from what we are using right now. So, we can compare it, Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how do you answer our question then? When did Plato write the story about Atlantis? He wrote Atlantis. Can you say that? He wrote in 360 BC. Or we can say he wrote the story of Atlantis back when it was 360 BC. Now let's have number two. Hmm. When the Roman Sermons report finding the remains of a city. Um, when did Robert Sermas report finding? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, when did? So when? So we're looking for time. 
Okay, nineteen. Do you have a guest? No. Okay, nineteen. so we're talking about Robert's or mask. So let's go to, I think it's in paragraph C. Okay, so here. When? When was it? 2004. In 2004. So how will you say that? In 2004, Robert Sarmas. Robert Sarmas report findings of remains of city when it is it was. Okay. So it is really, okay. So let's have number three. Let's do number three now. What number was? Three. What was the title of Mark Adams' book? What was the title uh, of Mark Adams' book? It is... Wait, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Hmm? Wait, wait. Here. Okay, okay. What's the title of the book that... Me in Atlantis. Meet me. Uh, meet me. Okay, so meet me in Atlantis. Now, can you answer this question in a sentence? Mm, the title of, of Mark Adams' book, Adam's book it is? was Meet Me in Atlantis. Nice one. How about number four? Which author? This Atlantis is just a story. Which author thinks Atlantis was just a story? What is his mm. name? Ellis. Richard? Richard Ellis. Richard Ellis. So let's say Richard Ellis thinks. Think Atlantis is, a, is just a story. Okay, Richard Ellis thinks Atlantis is just a story because there is no, nothing that can prove its existence. So let's go here. Okay. Yeah. Let's try this one together. So, I think uh, we're done with this part. We're done skimming and scanning it the story again. Now, let's go here. Okay? So, we yeah. have a passage below. It's all about the lost continent in the Pacific Ocean. Ooh. Look at this picture. It looks so scary. If I see something like this under the water, I will go back to the shore. <laughs> this is so scary for me. Do you like to go diving and see something like this? No. Me too. I'm scared. So let's talk about this. The lost city or the lost continent in the Pacific Ocean. So before that, um, we have this one. So we will look for the main idea okay of the story so we will choose your answer is here but we will do that later after reading can you help me please the last continent in the pacific ocean <clears throat> people? people believe that thousand year of years ago the last continent of mill sank because of an earthquake Today, no one knows if there really was a place called the Mew or where it was. However, Professor Masaki Kimura Singh, he, Kimura Singh he knows where the remains of Mew are. He believes they are near in Hungary Island of Japan. Kimura sink and sink the strange structures he, <clears throat> he has found were made by people. Some other researchers don't think so. Not one is sure, but the research continues. Okay, so what is the name of this lost continent? The one Mew. they're looking for, yes. The continent of Mew. Do you think that 
it sank because of a natural dilemma, natural event. What made the continent sank or sink? What made it sink? Earthquake. And an earthquake. Like what happened to the lost city of Atlantis. So a professor um, thinks uh, that he knows where where's the remain of this continent. What's the name of this? Prof or what's the name of the professor? Who studied it? Uh, Masaki Kimura. Professor Masaki Kimura. So he thinks he knows where. Okay, where is it? Uh, I believe. Yungari uh, Island of Japan. Yes, that's why maybe they sent people to look under the water. Okay, and they find strange structures. And they were found to be made by people. So it's not natural. It's made by people. That's why they think this is the um, exact continent. It's ju It just sank down under the water. But no one is sure about it. So let's go here. Can you read this for me? A diver. A diver explores the strange like structures in the waters near the Yungari Island. Okay, so this one. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> okay, so let's go here. I think we're done with that. And we still have this one. Oh, no, we forgot to answer this part. What is the story or what is the passage all about? Evan, can you help me? You have three options here, A, B, and C. Please choose the best one. Yeah, okay. So, what's okay. the main idea? Main idea. Mm, uh, hey. Yeah, take your time. Just tell me if you need help, okay? B. Very good. Can you read your answer? A scientist who believes the lost land near Japan. Okay. I think you're I'm very, so you're so sleepy. What did you do today? What made you so tired? I went. What, was, it, was it a long day? I went to, yeah, I went to Mass Academy. I oh. have to in there more than three hours oh okay i know but don't worry we'll make this very quick and easy okay okay, okay. so this will be our next um text here it's all about this one the greek island of satorini okay so yeah me it looks weird in the picture, though. It looks like uh, an animal biting. It's like a dinosaur biting something. <laughs> Can you see it? Like the, well, dino the dinosaur the head, and then it's... Even the face. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. So here, let's read the information. I match each word in red with its definition. We did something like this before. So we will read it and then we will define the words in red. Okay? Some people. Some people believe the Greek island of the Trony is the likely located from the lost city of Atlantis. The two are similar in their several ways. Plato. Plato, de Plato described Atlantis as being in the shape of a circle. In the past, Santorini was also circular. However, the island was struck by earthquakes and nearly destroyed by a volcano. Causing parts of the island to sink. There were 
also people living in cities on Santoroni for thousands of years. There are who how there are, however, important differences first of all, the day in Plato's writing in Plato's writing do not match with events on Santorini. Plato also said Atlantis was in the Atlantic Ocean, but Santorini is a uh, uh, Mediterranean. And finally, the and finally, the size size of the two islands are very different. Atlantis war was described as very large, but Santorini is small. Okay, so this text is all about comparing this island to Atlantis. Because some people think that Santorini, okay, is the Atlantis. But there are a lot of differences. The size, the dates in the story, and um, we can't prove anything because we don't have any information that can prove that this island is the lost city of Atlantis. Now, we have words in red here. What's the first word we have? Yeah. Lost. lost. The next one is? Drop. Drop. Next one is? Think. Think. And lastly, we have? Finally. Finally. So you need to choose from those words. What should we put here? Oh. Okay, let okay. me write the options for you. Lost. Drop. What's the next one? Mm. Okay, I remember it already. Thanks. So let's try this. What I want? It is finally unable to be found. It is lost. Suddenly hit. Hmm? Oh, strong. To move <laughs> downward, often in the water, sink. Okay, so that's nice. And think. there you go. So you're done with this one too. That's very quick and very nice. Thank you very much, Evan. So remember this words, okay? Maybe next meeting I'll ask you to use one in a sentence. But now I'll just uh, ask you to choose one that you want to use in a sentence. One from this red word. Mm. Think. Okay, can you use it in a sentence, please? Some people believe Atlantis think of God. Sorry, can you repeat the sentence? Why? I didn't hear it that clear. Uh, some people believe Atlantis sink because of God. Because of God. The gods. Or maybe you can say it this way. A lot of people believe that the city of Atlantis sank because of an earthquake made by the gods. Okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank Good you. job. You're welcome. Uh, oh, no. It's time for some stretching. <laughs> oh, you do that in your P class. Do you do exercises in your P class? Yeah, of course. Like, uh, can you show me some moves that you do in P class? Okay. Like stretches? So you may feel like a bit uh, not yet that sleepy. Oh, no. 
Oh, wow. Oh, oh. You also do that in PE class? That's so <laughs> How many how many jumps can you do? How many jumps do you do in your P class? Ten. Oh, ten jumps. Okay, you can now sit down. Okay, so let's do this one. We have oh, to complete this I sentences. Stand up. Okay, we need to complete this sentences, Evan. Please use the correct phrases or words. Something, something. Let's start with the more one. Is made I not made by you? Uh, no, made not by me. Made by human. So what's your answer here? Something natural is not made by humans. Okay. How about number two? A piece of something is. Part of it. Nice work. Number three. Now the pur purpose of something you should ask where. Where or why? You're looking where? for the purpose. Purpose. A reason. What to ah, ask. Why? You should uh, why? ask why. The purpose. You use, you use where if you're asking for a place. No, no, no. How about number four? No, no, teacher, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> number four, please. Okay. When you report something, you don't tell. No, wait. You, you tell others about it. Okay. When you report something, a report means to tell, to explain something to someone. Okay, you tell others about it. Nice one. One, two, three, and four. That's an amazing job, Evan. Thank you very much. So here we have the words uh, like sink, okay, and strike. Okay. So we need to use these words to complete the sentences below, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the present tense of the word. We have sink and strike. So that's the present form. And we also have the past tense of this word. So we have sank and struck. So you need to choose. Will I use the one in present form or the one in past? Or okay. That's two number one. Last large wave struck the side of the ship. Mm -hmm, very they good. Think, is it strike or struck? They think struck. Oh, number one is struck. Okay, sorry. Just uh, read slowly. <laughs> How about number two? It is think. Earthquake often strike in countries along the Pacific. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sadly, oh, sadly there's small boat strike in the storm. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Can you read that oh, yeah. again, please? Sadly, there's small boat sank in the storm. Okay, there you go. One, two, three, four. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Evan, we still have five minutes left. Oh, what's this? What do you think is this? Look. Moon, Jupiter. <gasps> oh, we will have moon mystery. So we moon. have Europa, one of Jupiter's moon. This is one of Jupiter's moon. It looks weird though. It has like veins. <laughs> it looks so weird. So we can't um That's very me moon. <laughs> yeah. So here we have uh information about this picture. Okay. So yeah. let's uh, read it. Can you help me? Oh, let's play a game. Let's play in turn. Oh, let's read in turns. 
I'll I'll read and then you need to listen carefully because when uh, whenever I I stop you need to continue, okay? Okay. And then you also stop if you want to teach to let me read. Okay? Let's start. For many years, okay. scientists have searched for search for life in space. Spacecrafts have been sent to every part, oh sorry, every planet in the solar system. And robots have landed on the sur surfaces of Mars uh, yeah. and Venus. <laughs> so far... Nothing has been found. Many believe, however, that the best places to look for life might not be planets at all. Europa, one of Jupiter's many moons, is thought to have conditions where life may exist. Whether it does or it remains? Remain all mystery for now. Okay, so a lot of people, uh, they also study the moons of Jupiter because a lot of people now is very curious for how long can we stay here on Earth? That's why they're looking for a possible place that we can go if a bad thing happens. That's why they study the moons, other planets, and a lot more in the solar system and in the universe or out outer space. So here we have words in black in bold. The first one surfaces, the second conditions, and the third one is exist. Now, can you choose? Which word fits best for each sentence below? Uh, something. Mm. Exist. Very good. The surfaces of something is the outside part of it. What's the that? Surfaces. Very good. Something. Like the temperature of weather. Okay, okay, teacher. You're done. We are done. Nice one, Evan. You did great. So before we go, I just want to show you what will be our next lesson, okay? Yeah. Okay, so next time we will talk about Europa, the moon of Jupiter, and we will have our chapter 2 of the book. Oh, look, eating extremes. This will be our next chapter. Look at the picture. I think this is a very long pizza. Is this <gasps> a long what? pizza? <laughs> yes, look. It's like a street long of pizza. <laughs> oh, what? so yeah. Damn. Yes, because our lesson will be all about eating extremes, it will be about strange food. And all now it's not mystery. <laughs> now it's not mystery anymore, but it's still interesting because we will well, discover I think that could be mystery too. Oh, yes. Yeah. So let's find out next meeting. So that's it for tonight, Evan. Thank you very much. Let's see each other again next meeting. Okay. Goodbye, Evan. Thank you. Okay, Have a great night. Goodbye. Okay.